Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Boeing to acquire Aurora Flight Sciences. DJI launches privacy mode for drone operators. And this drone delivers to a person, not an address. Hi, I'm Bree Cross. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI. Boeing has announced that it will acquire Aurora Flight Sciences Corporation, a company that specializes in autonomous systems technologies to, quote, enable advanced robotics aircraft for future aerospace applications and vehicles. Once it is officially acquired, Aurora, which is headquartered in Manassas, Virginia, will be a subsidiary under Boeing Engineering Test and Technology and will be known as Aurora Flight Sciences, a Boeing company. Through this acquisition, Aurora will keep an independent operating model while taking advantage of the resources provided by Boeing. Quote, the combined strength and innovation of our teams will advance the development of autonomy for our commercial and military systems, says Greg Heislop, Chief Technology Officer and Senior Vice President of Boeing Engineering, Tests and Technology. Together, these talented teams will open new markets with transformational technologies. Since the company was founded in 1989, Aurora has designed, produced, and flown more than 30 UAS. The company utilizes a variety of autonomous systems, including perception, machine learning, and advanced flight control systems. Aurora is also a leader in the field of electronic propulsion for aircraft, which is steadily emerging. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. In situ, along with ESRI, has successfully completed test flights using state-of-the-art software to support the firefighting efforts of firefighters and first responders. The flights, which were held at the Warm Springs, Oregon FAA UAS test range, were aimed at helping firefighters suppress the Eagle Creek Fire in Oregon using in situ's Inexa Solutions professional aerial remote sensing teams and the company Scan Eagle UAS. On October 4th, the U.S. Senate Commerce Committee unanimously approved a bill to help get self-driving cars on the road. While the bill still has to clear a Senate vote, it appears to be on the road to passage. John Thune, the Republican who chairs the Commerce Committee, says the bill, quote, underscores the bipartisan desire to move ahead with self-driving vehicle technology. GoPro has added a long-expected feature to its Karma drone. The latest features to be unlocked in a software update include follow and watch modes, along with some others. In follow mode, the drone will follow its controller. In watch mode, the Karma will hold a position and altitude and rotate to follow you as you move. BAE Systems and students from Cranfield University have revealed a new concept, adaptable UAVs, which can alternate between two different flight modes. When in rotary wing mode, the UAVs can be launched and recovered from battlefields and docked on a pole. The adaptable UAVs are a hybrid between fixed and rotary wing aircraft, which would use adaptive flight control and advanced navigation and guidance software. The first part of the 50-mile unmanned traffic management corridor in New York has launched. Consisting of a five-mile circle around Griffiths International Airport, the corridor is equipped with special sensors and radars that can detect small UAS flying at very low altitudes, which is a feature that is not included in traditional radars around airports. The corridor will be expanded next year into a 50-mile long airspace stretching from Rome to Syracuse. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. DJI has launched a new local data mode that stops internet traffic to and from its DJI Pilot app in order to provide enhanced data privacy assurances for sensitive government and enterprise customers. Local data mode will be available in the next update on the DJI Pilot app on Crystal Sky and for select Android tablets. When an operator activates local data mode, the app will stop sending or receiving any data over the internet. Quote, 
We are creating local data mode to address the needs of our enterprise customers, including public and private organizations that are using DGI technology to perform sensitive operations around the world, said Brennan Schulman, DGI's Vice President of Policy and Legal Affairs. Since local data mode blocks all internet data, the DJI Pilot app will not be able to detect the location of the user, show the map and geofencing information such as no-fly zones and temporary flight restrictions. In addition, it will not notify drone operators of firmware updates. Telemetry data on flight logs such as altitude, distance, or speed will remain stored on the aircraft even if the user deactivates local data mode. Cambridge Consultants has developed Deliver, a drone delivery concept that can deliver a package straight to the hands of its recipient. The company has achieved this through a drone delivery system that implements a patent-pending two-stage routing process. The delivery starts by using GPS to navigate to a user's smartphone location, periodically requesting secure location updates during the flight until it arrives within visual range. Then the drone switches to precision optical tracking and a 3D imaging and ranging system to both locate and authenticate the recipient. When the drone reaches the recipient, their mobile phone flash LED blinks a coded pattern allowing the drone to verify that it is delivering to the correct person. The drone moves directly above this flashing LED, remaining at a safe height above the ground. The package is then lowered down into the recipient's hands using a stabilizing winch. This type of ultra-precision delivery is ideal for instant delivery of items needed right away, such as delivering a first aid kit to a hiker, or an inner tube to a stranded cyclist, or even bringing essential components into remote regions during time of disaster. The most compelling use cases may be in cases of medical supplies. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world, our stream Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.